It's time now for our hometown hero. Each week, Local 5 honors a hometown hero. And this week, we take a look at a veteran who stayed connected to home through the radio. Imagine being worlds away from home, fighting for your life and your country while still a teenager. In this week's hometown hero, we meet Vietnam veteran Chuck Wellens, who found solace in the little things while so far from home. I, I, I couldn't believe it when they said live from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I, I, I just, I, I just <laughs> couldn't believe it. And it was fading all in, and I, and I could hear uh, the the la I could hear star. Star begins the count. And touchstone. Takes the snap. He has the quarterback sneak and he's into the touchdown and the Packers are out in front. And I just let out a, a scream, you know. A moment frozen in time for Vietnam vet Chuck Wellens. The year 1967, New Year's Eve, one of the most famous games in NFL history, simply known as the Ice Bowl. A world away for the 19-year-old Styles native, stationed atop a bunker as a Marine in the Khe Sanh combat base in Vietnam. A radio, his only form of entertainment. Just days earlier, Wellens left for his first tour of duty in Vietnam with a weapons platoon in the 3rd Battalion. It was also his first Christmas away from home. And I remember the ride there was pretty, pretty quiet. But you're looking out the window and you see all the Christmas decorations and then things really start start ramping up inside of you know you, you, you're getting scared now you're losing that bravado <laughs> little did wellens know that new year's eve atop hill 861 in quezon would be the calm before a storm the early late latter part of december then in um, coming into january things were relatively quiet we pulled operations there was a lot of rumors going around and and being new to everything i thought that's just the way they were talking that something was about to happen, something big. Something big was right. On the night of January 21st, 1968, Khe Sanh was attacked by the North Vietnamese Army. The, the next thing I knew, they, they were attacking, and it was just a different sound out there. We had a, a pretty well-reinforced bunker, but it blew, blew it all apart and knocked me out. I came to and I could hear the enemy's voices. And, I was really scared then. It was the beginning of four long months, 77 fearful nights for Wellens and his battalion. He and his fellow Marines often relied on each other and simple pleasures just to survive. But we, um, we just, uh, uh, you, you'd start thinking of home, you know, just, just to, to blot out how miserable you were and, and the car and your friends and, and everything else. And on the turn of a dime, uh, there would be uh, all of a sudden you get ambushed or, or something. And just in that split second, you go from boredom to extreme fear. You, they always said you never try to get close to anybody, but you couldn't help it. Willens and his battalion were relieved from Khe Sanh in April of 69 before he was finally discharged in August of that same year. Wellens admits he's seen some hard years since his time in Vietnam, and 2020 has been more of the same. Wellens lost his wife in July. But he still takes things day by day, appreciating the simple things in life, like he did on top of that bunker on New Year's Eve. I, I had a good life, a really a good life, and, and um, I, I'm very proud of my children, and um, I have excellent friends, and uh, you know, it's just been a good ride all the way along, and so I have no, no um, bad feelings about how life went for me, so. And we thank you for your service, Chuck. Don't forget, if you know someone who you'd like to nominate for our Hometown hero segment, just send an email to WFRV Hometown Heroes at wearegreenbay.com. I'm Caitlin Corbett, Local 5 News.